Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, uh, or community members. So enjoy. Welcome back, everybody. This is Indiana Gear Up sharing another great resource with you. So today I want to share with you what is called Common Lit. This is 100% free for teachers, parents, students. Um, it is a nonprofit agency, has an online library of over 1,500 reading passages, text sets, units, and digital resources. What is so nice about this, if you look down, Here's your digital lesson library. This gives you all kinds of data. So you can choose by a lesson. You can share it with your students and you can share it very easily and upload your roster through Google Classroom and Clever. You can track the progress with students. For kids with IEPs, it does have a read aloud function. Kids that are uh, English as a second language, it now has items that are written in Spanish. What's nice about this is you can assign text digitally. Students can annotate the texts. Uh, you can, uh, they can respond to comprehension questions, take assessments, and you're gonna get all the data um, through this platform, and it is free. So that's the nice thing about it. So when I looked back through some of the features here, what's nice is like they have featured content that they put on and it is updated because as you can see, there's COVID-19 texts on here. So you have informational text, you have poems, um, high interest high school texts, some favorite short stories for middle school and elementary. This is a third grade through 12th grade um, content. So you can go through all texts. And what I like about this is that you can sort over here to the left by grades, by themes, genre, Related books, devices, so you might want to go by ethos or pathos or figurative language, suspense. You have text sets. 
and then you can go by standard. So I like how you can find it in many different ways. When I was looking through text sets, um, as you can see, there are six pages of text sets, workers' rights, social emotional lear learning, but I really liked the book pairings the most. So when I was looking through book pairings, let's say Animal Farm. If you pull up Animal Farm, it will tell you here that um, introduce the text about Stalin um, before the students even begin the novel in order to provide a historical context on the events and circumstances that prompted Orwell to write his allegory. And then after reading chapter two, when the animals create the seven commandments and a set of values for the animals to live by, they want you to produce the 10 commandments text. After they read chapter two and the pigs assume leadership and farm animals begin to conform to animalism, they want you to have the kids read about conformity. This is a great way and a nice way that they have it all laid out for you on when to provide additional texts, some great questions that can be asked. And I think, it, I think it's just a great in-depth resource for the liter literature teachers. Um, this is the only part, the units, that you I cannot get to unless I create an actual account. But it is free once you create your account. So why not create one? Uh, once again, you know, it is totally free, easy rostering. You can see all the different ways that you can find the literature that you would like to provide to your students. It would um, provide some deep, deep thought provoking questions and discussion. So please check it out. Have a good day.